Are you tired of using third-party apps and bots in order to do your auto host on Mixer.com? In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new feature that Mixer just added, which is going to allow you to set up an auto host list directly from their website. Let's check it out. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, King Chaos. I'm a content creator over on Mixer.com, and I stream Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, one of the ways that we can support other streamers on Mixer is through hosts. Now, hosts are a way of showing another channel's video on our channel while we're offline. Now, what this is going to do is one, if we just finish streaming, it's going to allow us to take all of the viewers that we had and drop them off with another streamer, show some support, as well as introduce our viewers to a new streamer. The second thing that hosting can do is when you're offline, it can allow you to show some support as well as give a little bit of extra exposure to another streamer that's on. Previously, you would have had to use an outside bot like Mix It Up or even the smart app that I've seen people use in order to set up an auto host. Now, what the auto host will do is go around and host people automatically that you've included into this list. Now, when you'd like to host somebody, there's two ways of doing it. You can do a manual host, which requires you to go to the individual's profile and start doing the host, or you can set up an auto host. Now, what the auto host is going to do is it's going to allow you to arrange a list of different streamers that you'd like to support, and it will automatically go around and host them whenever they go online and your channel is offline. In previous times, you had to use an outside application such as Mix It Up Bot or even the Smart App in order to set up these lists and then run them. Now, the problem with using these third-party apps is Mix It Up Bot, for example, you're going to have to have that program running at all times on your PC in order for it to actually do the auto host. The Smart App is a little bit different. It's web-based and you can set it up, but it's much simpler to just have it all incorporated right into the website in which you're streaming from, which is something that Mixer has just implemented. So let's show you guys both ways that you can host people. Now, manual hosts are easy. All you're going to want to do is go over to the person that you'd like to do the host on. We'll go over to my friend, Wahito. You're going to press the three dots in the bottom right corner. If you look at the top, it's going to say host, and we're just going to click host. It's going to ask you hosting allows you to support broadcasters by featuring a streamer's broadcast on your channel. Are you sure you want to host? And we're going to click let's do it. Once we do that, some streamers have an alert. If you notice right here, his alert popped up giving me a shout out saying that we hosted him. And in his chat, it has a notification as well, at King Chaos with the super dope host. And it'll say how many people you hosted them with. Now, this is how you can do the manual host from the computer. Now, if we wanted to do the host from the mobile app, you're just going to go to your followers, go to the person that you'd like to host, and then you want to click on their profile. Once it comes up, if you look in the top right corner, you're going to see three little dots. You're going to click on those and we're going to go down five options and you'll see host. We'll just click host. And if you look at the messages, it says King Chaos is now hosting. So we've officially hosted this individual. All right. Now, the second way that we can host is by setting up the auto host. Now, this is going to be extremely convenient and it's super simple now that it's right on Mixer's website. So what we're going to do first is go to the top right. We're going to click on our icon. We're going to go down to broadcast dashboard. And if you look on the left hand side, it's going to say auto hosting. So that's the new feature that they just added in. So now we want to go ahead and turn on enable auto hosting. So once it's enabled, channels from the list below will automatically be hosted when you're offline. Now we can randomize the channels so that it hosts them in a different order, depending on who's online, or we can leave this off. Now, if we leave this off, it's going to host the people in the order that we set it up. And now we can also enable showcasing. Now, when we enable showcasing, it's going to set a timer on how long it stays on each stream. So we can set it to one hour. We can set it to two hours, three hours. And what that will do is no matter how long the individual that's being hosted is online for, after one hour, it's going to switch that host to either the next person in line or to a random stream, depending on if you've turned on randomized channels or not. All right, so now to add people to our list, you're just going to search the channel names. I'll add three people just to show you guys. We'll add my friend Wahito that we just hosted. We can also add my good friend Whiskey. Whiskey Mustache. And then we can also add my good friend Candy Gamer, the one that we just hosted 
as well on mobile so now these three people are set up in the auto host waji would be the first person that get hosted whiskey would be the second in line and candy would be the third in line so if all three of these individuals were online at the same time and i didn't have randomized channels selected it would play them in the order of waji and then it would wait till he came offline then it would play whiskey and so on and so forth now if i turn on showcasing and set it to one hour after an hour of waji being online it's going to just transfer that host over to whiskey as long as whiskey's live if whiskey's not live it's not going to send it there now if we wanted to rearrange that order we're just going to go to the three lines on the left side and we can drag and drop them wherever we want as well as we can hit the x and we can just remove everybody right off of the auto host there now once you're done setting up the auto host the way that you want we're going to go down to the bottom right and you can just click save changes made now once you click save changes made it's going to save your auto host setup and your auto host will start all right guys so there you have it the new auto host setup on mixer.com is super simple and it's a great way for you to support your fellow streamers without having to go around and put the host on manually you can literally just set it and forget it and go about your day so thank you guys for watching the video. If you have any other questions, feel free to jump into my live stream. We're live over on Mixer Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern time, or leave a comment below. If the video helps, smash that thumbs up button and please hit that subscribe. I'll be putting out future videos on all things streaming and gaming. Thank you guys for watching the video and King Chaos out for the day.